Hello once again internet and welcome to what is my first Lego related video in a long time. Today we are looking at something that is uh, not exactly brand new. This is an old creation of mine from years and years ago that I sort of pulled out of the archives. And by pulling out of the archives I mean I took it off the shelf where I keep all the rest of my Lego models at the moment. This is the Dodge Charger Daytona race car like they used to race a NASCAR back in the 60s and I've had this particular model uh, since the fall of 2008 I think yeah I've had this for a long time I just put this together and just never took it apart for some reason I think it was mostly because I never needed white pieces for anything else so I just kept it and slowly improved it over the years and maybe in the description for this video I will link to the original mock pages post for this from way back when when I first started uh, making Lego stuff and posting it online. This is not originally my design. Uh, there's another builder on mock pages named uh, Johans, Johannes and if you see this video and I'm not pronouncing your name correctly I am very very sorry. But uh, as well as posting on mock pages Johans Johannes had a, uh, a brick shelf page where he had a bunch of digital renderings of models that he never built. It was just single individual files and pictures and renderings he did of uh, Lego models that he never got around to physically building. He just rendered them on his computer. And this was one of them and I will link to that in the description as well to the original file. It was just basically the hollow shell of this car with no real details added and I thought it was sad that he never built it in real Lego bricks so I took it upon myself to do that. This is uh, the same basic overall shape as his original rendering. So uh, really kudos goes to him for the original idea and I just made it physical and kind of uh, did my own thing to add. In, uh, engine and interior details and chassis details like on my muscle car I showed previously well that's been a couple of years ago since I posted that Got the drive shaft and the underside of the engine and transmission and the front splitter and those really cool exhaust pipes next I'll pull off the roof and there is the very basic not super detailed interior oh well it's so on the real life race car it was pretty pretty bare pretty plain on the inside as well and I will just put this back on ever so carefully And now we will take a look under the hood. You can see these hinge plates that I used to make the hood open. I don't know if I can get this or not. There we go. Oh yeah. V8 power once again. Hemi power. I'll pull this off where you can see that a little bit better. There we go. So that's pretty cool if you don't mind my saying so. This is pretty uh, basic compared to some of the other cars I've built in this size since then. But uh, for building in this scale, this was one of my very, very first ones. And for what it is, I think it's, it's still pretty good. And again, I've had this together for, while well, going on nine years now. I normally don't keep any Lego model together that long, but again, I never really needed the white pieces for anything else. Never really needed the yellow pieces or the wheels for anything else, so I just kept it and slowly tweaked it over the years, added more and more little details here and there. And this is the end result. This is my oldest still existing Lego creation at the moment. And I was looking at it the other day and realized, you know, maybe I should do a do another Lego video and but do one for this one for an old creation of mine. 
well, at least partially mine again. Uh, I credit Johannes, Johans, uh, for the original idea. Check out the link in the description for his original rendering where I got the idea. Definitely go check out. I'll check out that whole folder. There's a bunch of really, really neat renderings he did of a, just a bunch of classic muscle cars that he never got around to building with real bricks. And uh, I was a happy nerd just browsing through that folder. I love cars. I love Lego. And I ended up looking through all the renderings in that folder for the longest time. And finally decided on this one. And I built this one in real bricks way back when. Way back in the fall of 2008. And I still have it today. It's still one of my favorite Lego models I've ever made. So be sure to check out the links in the description. And I hope to see you, as always, in the next video.